figure I was just gonna take this one slow. You can relax a bit. Yeah. Team South. What's up people, how you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. I just wanted to go over one of the styled shoots that I did for a clothing brand. Wanted to go through it and give you guys a chance to kind of understand how to go about doing a um, kind of a show reel of a clothing uh, product. I just wanted to bring you through that and give you an idea of how I like to edit <laughs> Put on my trusty headphones here. So let's go ahead and go through this edit real quick. So I start off with a drone because drone I feel is something that people really are drawn into. Um, and so you can come through here, it comes into a drone with the logo and then it goes into a guy kind of overlooking all of the scene. And I really wanted to showcase that, hey, this is also a story through this reel of, you know, here's our location, here's our drone clip overlooking everything. And you can come into here, the guy is now overlooking the cliff. So you can see that we're coming into him and then going into the rest of the story of showing where we are a little bit more about the brand uh, i wanted to get his tattoo in because it's more of a, a street brand that kind of style so we go into more details of really showcasing the clothing right away really get people interested in seeing like what we're doing and what the brand is about and then just kind of continuing really showcasing the the clothing and I like to add in nature scenes that kind of go with the brand. And I felt that um, shooting such as the flowers, such as um, Shark Cove Rock. Also, I have another shot of the flowers here. And I think over here I have a shot of uh, water. Yep. I have the ocean right here that I incorporate into it. It just kind of adds into the whole feel of things. And, and I really think that it is a nice add on to any kind of fashion reel or street video that you're going to have that you post on Instagram or on YouTube or whatever that looks like. So going back into the storyline, just showcasing, you know, hey, we changed locations here. We're now at a flower location here, showcasing again the clothing and an action of him walking around and going back, getting closer up on the details here. So that's when we start doing these kind of effects so I can have more of a close up on the details again you see that here and i wanted to showcase hey we got you know, a lot more going on as well as the beat on this uh end part just fits perfectly for what we did here going right into him just kind of looking back and like yo that's how we're gonna finish it right there with the model uh and pretty much a whole idea of that whole outfit right there so guys it's very important in a fashion video that you keep on time with uh music and that the music matches the style that you want to have shown for obvious reasons you can figure that out <laughs> for obvious reasons you want to have the feel of the song match the brand and so that's what we did here we matched it um i, th I feel very very closely and when you when you cut and you make your edits you're going to want to do it on certain beats that way the timing of things is more fluent especially for social media films because people guys attention spans are just oof, they're like non-existent so you got to capture it really quick um i also added in here with sound design as you can hear as you could probably hear in the video i added sound effects and very simple sound design nothing crazy in here we have sound of the ocean uh we have birds very faint in the distance and just a whoosh sound right here when we come over this rock over here i uh created a sound effect with fling my my shirt that way we can have just a subtle understanding of like hey he's messing around with it give it more real life but guys in this whole video i have this ocean sound effect going during the entire time it's very subtle but i feel that it adds a lot of realism to uh, the video and also guys just keep in mind that you want to use as many tools as possible to make sure that a video for social media or youtube is just super engaging especially if video that is 30 seconds or less because people's attention spans are just non-existent so make sure that you're using sound effects you're using uh right audio make sure that you're cutting to the audio that brings more appealing and visuals um to the audience that really entices them and just any way possible you want to utilize that because adobe premiere has so many tools you're just not using them you're just not going to make as an effective social media video or whatever exactly video you're trying to entice for engagement purposes but another thing guys i really wanted to make sure was perfect in this video was the color we come into here i shot this during the morning sunrise actually around 5 5 40 a.m i think uh definitely is a plus to shoot it in the morning during sunrise or sunset because the lighting is just going to be that much softer and that much more even on your subject the clouds were also a overcast as you can see 
Uh, so that was also very helpful. But on here, you can see that we have a lot of different colors going on here. This was shot with my drone. The bigger clip was shot uh, earlier in the morning, and then this other clip was shot later on in the day. So you can see that the lighting is just different. So I really had to make sure that I corrected a basic correction on all of these, make sure that they're all the same. So you can see I had my basic corrections on here. And then we came in here and we specifically, I think this was just the sky, yeah. So we specifically came in here and selected everything and then did an invert on the color and made sure that it was only the sky that was selected so you can see that it is like a greenish bluish feel or whatever um, and then over here we went into the skin tone specifically and made sure that they were just a little bit more defined um, more orange a little bit just very subtle but you can see that it goes a very long way very subtle uh, so that's kind of like my basic rundown on this whole edit guys it took me about I don't know seven to eight hours to do this whole video for 30 seconds so I really took the time and was really nitpicking at everything making sure that the video was exactly how it needed to be for the brand and for like the sweatshirt because you know hey we got to get people to buy this jank so yeah guys my only comment is make sure that you really utilize all your tools and if you have any any questions about any of the edits that I did just go ahead and leave a comment and I will be happy to go over that for you guys I hope that this was helpful to you just kind of overseeing my process and um, my thought process on this video and what I wanted it to look like and how I made it turn out and hopefully it's helpful for you guys in your process so appreciate you watching and I'll see you guys in the next video